Thanking Nigerians Naimdong Injo for another xenophobic attacks for South Africa. And a serial killer now don't plead the India guilty, saying he killed nine women for rivers. ICPC now don't they carry such lights, take the find the before before presidential panel chairman will be Obono Obla. And seeing it now don't start to touch light, illegal transfer of 14.3 billion naira where NEBS are due. Good afternoon and welcome to As It Take Happen for Inside Wazobia Max TV. My name is Adati Owunkwe. On top of the first story where we say we carry come, we get report talks say three Nigerians now follow for the people where we say they suffer another xenophobic attack on Tuesday for different location for Wheat Bank where they for Mpumalanga area for South Africa. The National Talk Talk person for the Nigerian Union for South Africa will be Odefa Ikele. He talks that the attack been start early hours of a Tuesday and he talks in some community people, plus including taxi drivers. Now he go different area for Weed Bank, come the attack businesses where BC foreigners get. And say three Nigerians now in the injure for inside the attack. But as the matter being talks, nobody don't die for the attack. In second, they talk to some Nigerians who run go hide themselves for Whitbank police station. And this attack where we say they happen now, if they come after President Bomo Dubari and the President Siri Ramaphosa, don't make efforts to make sure they find a long-lasting solution for this xenophobic attack where they happen for South Africa. And we shall probably come up from inside that story and enter the next one. The former chairman of Special Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property, that one, Oga Okoi Obono Obla. Now, him now, we don't hear say ICPC don't declare wanted, say they define them. This one, I did for inside one talk paper, where the talk talk person of ICPC, Rashidat Okodu, have been carried come on Tuesday. The ICPC, they accused Oga Obono Obla, say him never show face as they invite him, sake of all the allegation of wayo and corruption where BC they on top of in head. ICPC talks say he get evidence where she say Oga Obono Obla come out from the country for August and say he never come back till now. The commission comes to here say they don't receive petition where BC they accuse them of a abuse of office, lie lie of admin, admission record, and say him they spend passing salary and say they collect bribe from suspects where they in the torchlight their matter. The commission comes to here and say this Oga where BC say they for suspension. Also, they face allegations say in the work outside the rules where they guide the panel. We shall probably come up from inside that story and enter the next one we will get. Abuja just day as other capitals of the city for inside the world. It gets population of people of formal and informal sector. Better relationship day between these two sectors where BC and economic interest and they ginger them to work. And over the years, these people for inside formal sector, informal sector, like people where BC, they get different handwork, people like uh, motor mechanics, drivers, and many other people and traders, they, they suffer plenty for the hand of tax force people. As important as their work day, now still to develop the economy of the city. And where BC, they, they face serious matter, serious wahala, especially when you reach to accommodate them inside the city, make them for do their work well without plenty disturbance. John Emmanuel and I get more to read on top of this one. Most of the people where they for this informal sector are people where they do handwork like mechanics, carpenter, traders, vendors, and plenty other services where they, they render for inside the city of Abuja. And even though they, they're very, very important to the economy, government see no send them for what they, they do. This one not upon say, most of the people with the for government, they still they depend on these people to survive and to get some of their services from them. For example now, if big man car spoiled, nobody saying common mechanic with the for roadside, he go carry the car, go for repairs. Yeah, it's not a country that it can help uh, poor people because somebody like us, uncountable boys, are, they are living, this, uh, they are laying this job and they know how to do it. Their parents do, does not have money to make them start the business well. So something like that, I think it's government supposed to, to have it and be here for news sometime that uh, whatever, any type of motor comes to Nigeria, federal government gets here that they are giving them to give roadside mechanic to help them for their choose and all that thing. Upon that, those ones, 
Nobody know what is going on. These handwork people for inside Abuja go open mouth so say it. We don't say with them, don't they beg government, make government provide them with place, land, or bonga place where we say they will feed day with the rest of mind they do their business. We need government to just help us for the permanent places so we go to work. And those that's for when they come here they disturb people. We need to make government help us. I don't know they can't disturb us. Government don't talk on plenty of time, say they're not going to provide job for every single person we did for inside Nigeria. Say, because this one now, it's very important, made them take people who get hard work very serious so that they go fit, help them they develop their skills, they do their work, contribute to the economy, and at the same time, come reduce crime for we society. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And we come up from inside that story, enter the next one we will get. Senate now don't start touch lighting on top of waiting that they suspect in a Wuru transfer of money we reach 14.3 billion naira from Nigeria Export Processing Zone Authority will be NEBSA to one private organization where them they call Nigeria Special Economic Zone Company. Chairman of a Senate Committee on Top Trade and Investment will be Rose. Oko. Now she on this one on Tuesday for inside the 2019 budget defense of the agencies will be say day inside Ministry of Trade and Investment. Senator Oko talks say her committee go touch light how they take move that kind of big amount of money from government agency without due process. And as the matter be now, she constantly talks say the agencies will be say get to work where they overlap. Say they must check and well to reduce waste. The committee is aware of the existing legislative query on the Ministry and the Nigerian Export Processing Zone Authority, Zones Authority, over the 14 billion 376 million 27,584 naira 65 cobble that was illegally transferred from the 2017 appropriation budget of NEBSA to Nigerian Special Economic Zones Company. This is a breach of the 2017 Appropriation Act. This committee intends to see the, to the end of the query and inquiry as to find a logical, so as to find a logical conclusion and seek an explanation how that sum got moved from government coffers ostensibly to a private company without due process and without provision of goods and services. We have further learned that more appropriation has been made to that company. And uh, again, we would seek to find out the relationship of this company to your ministry and to NEBSA to warrant it being appropriated uh, funds directly from the nation's uh, coffers. We, we would, uh, if you respond to the query, we may listen to your query, we may look at your query, but if we do not get a response quickly enough, then we'll raise the matter up again on the floor of the Senate and make sure that a full inquiry and a public hearing is conducted so that we can see, uh, come to a logical conclusion as to what exactly happened. And for inside the National Assembly, as part of the Apple effort where BC they use check bad reports about the National Assembly, they don't set up one special committee where BC Ego casually manage the different channels of communication as he consigned federal lawmakers. For one meeting on Tuesday, Clerk of National Assembly, Mohammed Sani Omolori, he talks a special committee where he said they don't set up. He go reduce the lie, lie report of activities of National Assembly. MC talks a the new platform go still bring the National Assembly channel to talk with one mouth. The clerk Quantum talks say some media organizations now don't they take advantage sake of the bad management of plenty informates where they bring bad name to them. And chairman of a Senate committee on top media and publicity, Ade Dayo Adeneye, he been welcomed the new arrangement, but he's the context of this one where he said they want to do now. Not be to shut up the mouth of media people. We shall probably come out from inside that story as we still did the National Assembly. Niger State calculus for inside National Assembly now don't call for declaration of state of emergency for the three major federal roads inside the state. As they talk, say these federal roads, them don't scatter, pata pata, and say armed robbers now don't they use the bad road, take the shine. As then they yarn give to we people on Tuesday inside Abuja, the 13 member caucus 
come they beg, say, make Ogbongi government now, sharply repair the road where we say connect northwest, northeast, and north central, and some parts of southeast. Deputy Whip for Senate, Ali Yusabi, where be say yan on behalf of the Niger lawmakers. He talks to them don't yan with the leadership of the National Assembly on top of the matter where be say they, they seek for better allocation for the road inside the 2020 budget. If you look at the volume of road network we have, there are about 32 or 33 roads coming from one location to the other. But I have chosen to mention these very critical <coughs> ones that people who are applying from either the south, uh, uh, northwest, northeast, going down to the south, the roads they normally pass southwest. to the southwest and some parts of even the you know, south uh, east. So the point I'm trying to make here is as much as efforts are being made to stabilize the road, the state government has made efforts to stabilize the road, but no sooner than a particular segment is stabilized will another segment also give in. This is our cry, and we are convinced beyond reasonable doubt that beyond what is happening under the budgetary atmosphere, we are calling on Mr. President to please do the needful for our people by giving a special intervention funding so that these three roads we have mentioned can be fixed. Even as they still the young for there, they can see they talk plenty. Take off say road safety, no, they can't check it. cases of overloading of trucks for the major road. As they say, they blame overloading of trucks as one of the things where they say it is spoiled the roads after them don't repair and finish. We shall probably come up from inside that tour. We enter the next one where we still get. One report now where we say United Nations for Children Fund, where UNICEF, don't bring out, we talk to them rank Nigeria as the country with the highest number of children we don't drop out from school. According by the report, they talk in a 13.2 million children now in no day school. And as the matter be, they toss it for this reason. People will get mouth now for on top of the matter. Don't toss it this situation it call for serious concern because the 45% of out of school children inside West Africa na Nigerians then be. The question now be say, the society they play their own part to make sure say these children will be out of school, return back to their classroom. For this report, our Tory person will be in a Douglas. He meets one on one with one Nigerian security officer. We get passion, we it in the touch for mind to send these children back to school. Other Nigerian, Sergeant John Sule. Now, Nigerian man will get hurt for children when they go to school. They attach him for 45 squadron force headquarters. Now, he say, now, policeman him be. He talks say it depends on where where to see children were supposed to day for school, but they no day for school. Then they they do other things like they sell things for people. Although aside in official duty as a mobile police officer, he they also intervene to help children back to school through what in Oyibo they call advocacy with a small money. Recently, he come across three teenage girls, that is, three small girls for one community, what they call Angwanrogo area of Abuja Municipal Area Council, where he believes say now products of trafficking, that is, people bring them come there to come sell things. And after he asks them some questions, the police officer come decide say he go send them back to school using his own salary. Even though he tell Wazobia Max TV say he never pay the school fees of his children, but those children will never see school. He won't send them back to school. Then they three. So as they go take them that kind of information, they quickly give their numbers to these children. So they can't give me. So by then I was I no get money for hand. I was waiting to make a correct salary. So when I can't correct salary, now I can't call the uh, the guardians. Tell them, say, introduce myself. I say, I want to see them. In, in respect of these uh, children, that I uh, want them to them go to school. So I can't break them, say, this money, what I want to give them. I say, Sergeant, my money no big. I say, they give them this money, I no pay my children's school fees. You know, I say, they talk to you now. I never pay my children's school fees. We also speak to the beneficiaries, that is, people who benefit from this John's kind intervention. Precious Francis, 16 years, Blessing Oha, 
11 years, and Tekoso Otto 16. All of them come from Benue State. Now with my auntie, my auntie no go agree, say my go school. You know say that day, but this uncle can't give money, say man we start school. But he no agree collect the money. Some people collect, but he no agree to collect. So I don't know if they go tell and say my start school, he no go agree. That okay. one no. I they go to work. Then this uncle can't us, we can't see us. We get three. This uncle can't see us, that's it. He just said she go, he go pull us for school. We will no no say it's true. It's God help us. The uncle pull us for school. Three hours for school. John Sule give my uncle 10,000 naira. Say me put me inside school. My uncle tell me say go cut me from one gift person and so for me. My mom they ain't go calling me go school. Now, what do you tell me with that? As experts as Uncle Kuma talk, I'm say the level of development for any country based on the quality of education where the citizens acquire. For Wazobia Max TV, Abuja, my name na Nna Douglas. We shall probably come out from inside that to we still enter the next one. Suspected serial killer will be gracious David West. On Tuesday for inside high court where be say day for inside the river state. You don't talk now, say in the guilty, say in kill nine young women for different hotel. Where's done been show face for inside court for inside court on Tuesday, as he don't be show face before Justice Adolphus Enabeli on Monday. Without lawyer where be say he they represent him. People will be say they for inside court on Tuesday now come the surprise as West agree say him kill nine people. But he no come grief for the one where B say the tenth victim been died on September 18, 2019. Him tell, tell the court say as he be so say he no get him for mind to kill the girl at all at all. Say he just tied the girl for chair, come come out from the hotel room. Justice Enabeli now come give order. Say me then sharply carry West go correctional center and say he don't shift the matter till November 18, 2019. For hearing. And still on top, another court matter. Now, we hear say the trial of Aziz Fashola, where everybody know as Naira Mali, say it no start yesterday for the Federal High Court, we sit down for inside Lagos. The trial been start, no start, the sake of say him lawyer will be a lalekon ojo, been filed one application where they tell EFCC say made them bring the statement of their persecution witness. EFCC lawyer will be wrote to me or Yedepo. We've been raised objection for inside the application, as in talks, it will be the right process be that according by law. After all the arguments on top of the application, the courts can talk, say, the trial for the Federal High Court, na summary trial, and therefore, them no need proof of evidence. And as it be, courts can say, make the prosecution, carry the investigative officer report, and the statement of witness, if anyone day, say, may they sharply carry and give the defendant. Justice Oweibo come shift the case till Wednesday for hearing. When they come back with business story, make you not go anywhere. And for inside business, the National Information Technology Development Agency, they don't tell Ogbonge government now, say make them copy the local content development strategies. That one now, say make them learn from countries where we say they don't develop passos to sustain our developmental efforts. The Director General of NITDA will be Kashifu Abdullahi. We make this call for Inside Abuja on Tuesday, as him being the talk on top how to grow our economy. In terms of the local content, will make efforts and the knowledge to show well. The DG will be saying that the head of legal services of NITDA, Emmanuel Edet, being represented for inside the event. He talks say if they follow the local content policies for some key sectors of Nigerian economy, say he will address this matter of high unemployment rates for the country. In consider the answer, need they to develop and to improve economic models where be said already day before. For continuous growth of information technology, we will later turn to economic development. And when they come back with sports, make you not go anywhere. And for inside sports, 
Golden Eaglets of Nigeria don't show face for the city of Gelnia, where busy now where they go play their group B game for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup for Brazil. Gariba Manu boys now, we hear say they don't set to come for inside Sao Paulo for the past two weeks as they prepare for their competition. The Golden Eaglets have been played three friendly matches for inside Sao Paulo and they can lose 2-1 and 1-0 to Sao Paulo on the 17th side and Japan. And we see here say West Africans now don't win South Korea 4-2 for other games. The Golden Eaglets will be saying that they win five times for the competition. Then go face Hungary for their first game on Saturday for inside Gaonia. Nigeria don't come... Nigeria will come play with Ecuador for the same place on October 9th, 29th, and Australia for inside Brasilia on November 1st for Group B. Now all the Tory them as it take happen be this, but before we go, make I say remind us of all our top Tory for this afternoon. Three Nigerians named on injured for another xenophobic attack for South Africa. And a serial killer now don't plead, say him they guilty, say him kill nine people for inside the rivers. ICPC now don't carry touch light, they find the before before presidential panel or uh, chairman Obono Obla. Senate don't start to touch light, illegal transfer of 14.3 billion naira where NEBS are due. Now all the Tory bidis as it take happen for Inside Wazobia Max TV. My name na Adati Ongpe. On a good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ogonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.